if we're doing like traditional grip, I'll tell them to pretend like they're holding a cup, like so. Take one stick, place it here between the webby part, between the first finger and the thumb. Place it there, squeeze down. And you'll start out like this. And what you'll do is just let the stick just to gain this motion. Now these muscles in, in the wrist, they have to loosen up in order to gain the consistency and rotating like this. And then once you get comfortable with this, then you can work on doing that, making sure the stick is not sliding up and down, your finger, your, uh, that webby part of your hand. So make sure you always clamp down there and just rotate. Use the rebound from the pad or the heel or the drum. Nice and smooth. Don't ever try to jerk your hand back like that. You'll mess up something. You don't want to mess up ligaments or cause any damage to any nerves in this part of your, your arm. So just naturally do it. Do a little bit every day. Take your time with it. You got to be patient when you are uh, playing traditional grip because our hands are made to do this. You have to actually teach yourself to do this. Okay. Then I move from strengthening the fingers here. I'll have my students do this. Hold the stick like this. And then it's almost like you're scratching the stick like so. You just balance between that webby part. Then you go to the middle finger. Back and forth. One, two, one. You can do double strokes, single strokes. Double. Then you go to paradiddles. And you'll feel all these different muscles in your, your uh, forearm working. Remember, that's where all your chops come from. Your forearms, not your biceps. You tensing up here. It's just like somebody choking you at your throat, cutting your air supply off. So you don't want to ever flex this. You want to let all this work. Okay? All these little muscles in here, that's what where your chops are coming from.